In the small Mendocino community of Casper, Casper Cove is the must-stop spot for visitors. But few romping on the beach are probably aware of nature's battle playing out just beyond the shore. In 2014, unusually warm waters off the west coast helped spread a disease that killed starfish, the natural predator of purple sea urchins. Tristan McHugh, kelp project director with the Nature Conservancy, says with no predators, the urchin population boomed, wiping out kelp forests, including in Casper Cove. When you go and dive in a place where urchins have moved into that system, it is like a ubiquitous just parking lot. The loss of kelp devastated the dependent abalone to the point the state shut down all abalone fishing. Unlike their sought-after cousin, the red urchin, purple urchin are mostly starved. Their shells nearly empty with no commercial value. Though native to these waters, they're now considered an invasive species. The state now allows individuals to remove as many as 40 gallons of them at a time. If we had that North Star, it's really to see kelp rebound in these spaces where it's been lost. <laughs> but here in Casper Cove, the researchers are trying a different tactic for removing purple urchins. In a state-sanctioned experiment, they're allowing recreational divers to simply crush them in place. And so on a recent Saturday, a group of divers led by Santa Rosa dive shop owner Zeke Sissel turned up at Casper Cove. We are going to be calling purple urchins uh, using hammers and tools and whatever else. For Sissel, the effort hits home. The closure of abalone fishing hurt business at his shop, Seals Water Sports. It was probably, you know, 30, 35 percent of the business, uh, you know, went away. You're like part of a research project. A short pep talk and they headed in. Under the recreational fishing licenses that folks have, they've been going out on scuba or free diving and crushing purple sea urchin. The study is focused on a triangle-shaped area marked by buoys. McHugh says scientists will be closely monitoring to see if the divers' efforts pay off. Which we will likely see the results of, if fruitful, by either this fall or next year, 2023. I think I got like 27 or something like that. It had to be in, the, in you know, probably a couple hundred. This steady removal of purple urchins could give the kelp in Casper Cove a fighting chance and give the state a potential strategy to apply in other areas. An instance of humans hoping to give nature a helping hand. Joe Rosado Jr. Doing the best we can. NBC Bay Area News.